Can a vitamin deficiency cause tinnitus? Well, I believe that it's possible. Let's paint the picture. Many people may be confused by a sudden onset of ear ringing and then frustrated by doctors unable to give a good explanation of why it started. But vitamins? To find out, I'm going to share my findings after reviewing today's leading research studies and determine if vitamin deficiencies can cause tinnitus. The first vitamin we'll discuss today that has been studied in relationship to tinnitus is vitamin D. The first study I'd like to share with you looked at 98 subjects with and without tinnitus and measured how much vitamin D was in their blood. 68 of them had tinnitus and 30 did not. The results were that in the tinnitus group, 83% had low vitamin D levels. And that was surprising to me as it's pretty high. But in the non-tinnitus group, 66% had vitamin D deficiency. That suggests that there's a 20% difference between the tinnitus group and the non-tinnitus group. But remember that this was a small study, the sample size wasn't something that we want to draw conclusions from. And I want to explain a few caveats to help you interpret the data. This research finding does not mean that a vitamin deficiency causes tinnitus. It's entirely possible it's the other way around. For my patients who come to see me, who I've worked with, their lives are disrupted by tinnitus, which may make them do less outdoor activities and get less sun exposure. Potentially, they may also change their eating habits. And what do we know when we're stressed, when we're going through difficult times, we don't often eat the best diet. That's all to say the things that cause a vitamin D deficiency, whether from sun exposure or diet, could be caused by tinnitus itself, or at the very least, these confounding variables just muddy the data. All that in mind, I believe this is important data, but I wanted to see if there was more evidence on vitamin D. Another study I found and looked at was at a larger group with 201 subjects with tinnitus and 99 subjects without. This study similarly found that more patients in the tinnitus group had vitamin D deficiency. What's really interesting about this study was a surprising finding. The younger patients tended to have lower vitamin D levels and worse tinnitus. This study, since it measures blood levels, has the same limitations in finding causation, but it suggests that people with tinnitus might want to get evaluated for a vitamin D deficiency test. If you're concerned, bring it up with your doctor. Vitamin D deficiencies are incredibly common, approximately 35% of adults in the United States. Some people experience no symptoms, but others may experience symptoms like fatigue, depression, muscle weakness, or bone pain when they're lacking vitamin D. I don't believe that there's sufficient evidence to say that low vitamin D levels is a cause of tinnitus. And in just a moment, we'll review another vitamin that is often cited as a potential link. A few of you may be wondering, okay, well, if it's not vitamin D, could it be other vitamins? And what are other common causes of tinnitus? Now, I've met with a leading ENT physician who ran a research study, and he found that 80% of tinnitus in his clinic was caused by these three main areas. First, hearing loss. Second, physical issues related to the jaw or the neck. And third, stress-induced tinnitus. And in my clinical experience, that's very similar to the distribution of causes that I diagnose patients with who come to our clinic. And the ENT physician and the audiologist work together with you to help diagnose the different causes of tinnitus. Some other potential common causes could be medication changes or different kinds of ear diseases. If you're wondering whether you have a vitamin deficiency, please speak with your doctor. But if you're suffering from tinnitus and feel frustrated with the flurry of information, I've assembled an incredible team of audiologists who can help you remotely. That's our number on the screen, but for now, let's get back to the science. Another vitamin deficiency studied in relationship to tinnitus is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is interesting because it affects the central nervous system, and many tinnitus cases do involve the nerves, the auditory brain, and overall neurological function. But what does the science say? One study looked at hearing loss and B12, and we know that sometimes hearing loss can actually cause tinnitus, even in very mild cases. This study had 30 individuals with hearing loss and 30 without. It measured them with something called the auditory brainstem response. That's a test that audiologists use to measure the neurological activity of the auditory nerve. It found no difference between the two groups, but it's important to remember that this is just one study and testing something very specific, hearing loss. But what about a study for patients who had tinnitus? Well, there was one study that looked at 120 individuals, 100 of which had tinnitus. 
Not only did this study measure blood levels of B12, but it also administered appropriate levels of B12 to people who were deficient. But what this study found was that there was not an improvement in tinnitus after administering B12 in any kind of statistically significant way. These studies are pretty small and overall they don't suggest that tinnitus is caused by a B12 deficiency. But remember, there's many different causes of tinnitus and we know that even subtle changes to medications in our body's bioelectric system can lead to ringing or an increase in the ringing perception. So is it possible that B12 or other vitamins could work for subgroups of tinnitus? Possible, but from my knowledge and the research that I'm seeing, I wouldn't put my eggs in that basket. Instead, I would assume that B12 deficiencies individually do not cause tinnitus. The bottom line is this, although vitamins are important to our well-being, and I do encourage you to take a holistic view of your health, today's research does not support that a vitamin D or B12 deficiency is the cause of your tinnitus. Finding the cause and getting the proper diagnosis is very important, it's something that my team takes very seriously, and it's something that I want you to have that information. Typically, what I would like to see is that you have a hearing test and that you have had an in-person physical evaluation by an ENT doctor. From there, that's all you need. Then work with a tinnitus specialist who can go through the different causes and provide a diagnosis for you and ultimately recommend solutions that are likely to work given the specific cause that's diagnosed. From what I've seen, it's usually not just one cause. Most commonly, we see individuals in their hearing test found a high pitch hearing loss, usually mild, sometimes moderate degree. And alongside that, there's usually a period of significant stress or life changes that was happening in the three to six months leading up to tinnitus. That combination of symptoms is very common. Another common thing that we see is that a lot of doctors are missing the diagnosis of physical issues causing tinnitus. So that means the jaw, the neck, and we consider that to be a somatic or somatosensory cause of tinnitus. Sometimes that can happen with hearing loss, sometimes that can happen without hearing loss. I really encourage you to learn more about the cause of your tinnitus because this can be a breakthrough in finding the right solution for you. And whether that means speaking with your doctor, your ENT physician, take that next step. Or if you'd like to speak with my team at Treble Health, we can take care of you. We have a complimentary telehealth session available. You can call us at the number on the screen, and we'd be glad to help. This is Dr. Ben Thompson, see you next time.